it's time for my second attempt at making a drill chop arbor out of this uh, old Massey Ferguson part. I'm planning on using this portion, portion of the bolt. I might try and uh, knock that back into a line with a hammer, but it's probably not needed. It's actually easier to just squeeze it back in line. I'm surprised at how easy this stuff will bend. I just noticed uh, this uh, dividing line here and I think uh, two parts were friction welded there because if I do a file test it's not taking up any material on this side but it is on that side I tried cutting it with a hexa and that went nowhere it was just too hard so um, now I'm gonna cut it over here but I can't use the hexa because of the uh, uh, the gear it uh, I can't just I can't fit it in the vise so I'm going to use uh, the uh, angle grinder So there's the piece I'm going to use to make the arbor. It's a bit shorter than that uh, original arbor, but that's okay because um, the uh, threaded hole inside the uh, chuck is um, shorter than that uh, B16 taper on there. pieces between centers and I'm gonna take a surface cut and after that I'll take down this end and that will become the uh, tang of the uh, the arbor I lined up the arbor as best as I could. It is not completely straight. There uh, appears to be a bit of a low spot. but it's probably good enough I'm getting ready to uh, start cutting the table hmm. still pretty rough I don't know if there's enough meat on there to Cut away all the uh, all the threading. I 
I switched to a uh, carbide insert bit and I'm hoping that will give me a better service finish. Still pretty rough. Well, I can turn up the speed and take another pass. Next pass will be at 970 RPM. A bit better. A bit of surface damage. I think I'll try polishing now. I'm getting ready to uh, polish this. I have some uh, 80 grit uh, emery cloth and I'm going to put some oil on it. I find that if I put some oil on it, most of the uh, swarf will stay on the uh, paper. That's still pretty rough. By the way, our church make great rags, and it has nothing to do that we didn't get uh, into the European Championship. Nothing. I put on some blue marker lines and test fitted it in a tailstock, and this is the result. It could have been better. It's mostly binding at the thicker part of the. Uh, Taper. This is how it looks after uh, the uh, second test fit. I think it's a bit better, but not much. I'll polish it a bit more and then I'll uh, turn the piece around and start working on the uh, threaded end of the arbor. I'm gonna try using some of this stuff. It's uh, polishing compound for stainless steel it's a nice mixture of grindings, oil and polishing compound it has got to be working didn't do much. This stuff is hard. I'm starting work on the other side because I had it with polishing. That stuff is hard. I need to cut down about 19 millimeter of this side that'll be long enough for the threaded port part that needs to go into the chuck I finished turning the uh, part uh, 
down to size and uh, I'm getting ready to cut the thread. I got a new 60 degree pointy bit. I got the correct gears and I should be ready to go. I don't have a threading dial so I'll have to reverse the motor and I can't disengage the lead screw. As you can see it's uh, it's cutting close to the um, to the shoulder um, it's, it's very tight in there um, I've taken a few more passes and as you can see this is a uh, this is pretty coarse for an uh, U and F thread. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm taking light cuts, but man, that looks bad. Filing it a bit seems to help. I think I should do a test fitting. I'm, uh, I'm getting close after maybe a, a gazillion passes. It, it threads on um, this far. But now I'm not sure if I should just force it on there and risk moving the lathe dog. Or take another a few more passes. A bit of filing, a few more cuts, and there it is. My best thread ever. Also my second thread ever. There is a problem, it doesn't screw on all the way. So I probably made the threading too long. There always is a problem. The next step is cutting away this surface damage. It's time for a little test. I got my smallest center drill in the drill chuck and uh, uh, cut off from the same tractor bolt that we made the arbor from and I'm gonna try and do low. Alright, that worked fine. Um, I'm gonna try a 8 or 9 millimeter drill see if the taper is uh, strong enough that's a, uh, a 10 millimeter drill it might be a bit ambitious for this lathe but well I'm gonna try it anyway I'll call that a successful test. I think it's time to check for runout. Before I can mount the drill chuck in the headstock, I need to cut a, a tang on this end of the arbor, otherwise it won't fit in 
the sleeve. It needs to have a tank so I can use this wedge to drive it out again. I ended up using the uh, angle grinder instead of the be uh, bench grinder. The bench grinder was just too slow. I'm not 100% sure if this uh, piece of tool steel is uh, straight. Let's spin it. Well, I don't see any run out. Let's see what we got. Mm. about six or seven hundredths of a millimeter run out. I would say that's pretty good. The run out could come from either the chuck, the arbor I made, or the adapter sleeve. So Well, I think it's pretty good. <laughs>